All right, coming up next, it's a UFC heavyweight showdown. Well, always exciting when this guy shows up on the fight card, Daniel. He is a true mixed martial artist. Not really any glaring weaknesses, at least, that he's put on film thus far. He's the new breed of fighter. Those kids that start doing everything at six years old. They start wrestling. They start doing jiu-jitsu. They start to box. He's one of those guys that has every one of those skills, and he does them all at an A-plus level. He's got tremendous cardio. He is the type of fighter that in a few years would just litter the UFC roster across the board. And oftentimes his opponents will say he doesn't really do anything special, but he does everything at a plus level, and he believes he'll have a lot of advantages in this matchup tonight. Well, this is exciting here, DC. The founder of Jeet Kune Do, one of the founding fathers, really, of mixed martial arts. Bruce Lee is back in a big spot here tonight. Bruce Lee is what every kid looked to when they thought about doing karate. Bruce Lee is the person that anyone looked at when they said, I want to be a fighter. It was the speed. It was the charisma. It was the approach of Bruce Lee that made him so special. And tonight, he's going to look to show a new generation of fighters exactly how it's supposed to be done. And if you hear the phrase, drillers make killers, right? I mean, that was Bruce Lee in a nutshell. He felt like practice yes, would make yes. perfect. Nobody trained as hard as the great Bruce Lee. Or till the tape for this, our main event of the evening. More than a decade separates these two fighters when it comes to the age, with big differences in height and reach. All right, to get us started with the official introductions, here is Bruce Buff. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge, Herb Dean. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold-out Madison Square Garden Arena in New York City, it's time! Five rounds in the UFC heavyweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a mixed martial artist making his professional debut here tonight. He stands six feet six inches tall, weighing in at 265 pounds, fighting out of Las Vegas, Nevada, the Destroyer. And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a mixed martial artist making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet seven inches tall, weighing in at 145 pounds. Fighting out of Los Angeles, California, USA, Bruce the Dragon Lee. You've been giving your instructions in the dressing room. Protect yourself at all times. Follow my instructions. We will have a clean fight. Touch gloves, let's make it official. They touch him up and we are underway. Ready. Ready fight. All right, so here we go, round one. I can barely hear myself thinking this arena right now. Two of the most dominant, well-rounded fighters in this division. I mean, these guys are the best of all the mixed martial arts. They do everything when they're locked inside of the octagon. I'm so excited to watch the highest level of MMA on display tonight. All right, early round one, we'll see if he can use that jab and try to keep his opinion with authority. Goes to the judo throw right into side control. He's in side control. He's got a ton of options. All right, north-south position here. We'll see if the crowd can be mature about this, DC. Good movement 
by him here on the ground. He really is a master of these transitions. He is a master of movement on the ground. So you never know where he's going to be. Leg kick checked by Lee. Right hand punch from the clinch. Under three minutes remain in round one. Look at him chopping the wood. Chop the wood with those leg kicks. Big ball punch land. Now he gets back in range. What a head kick. Oh, nice straight punch there by Lee. Both fighters exchange in the pocket here. Continues to mix it up, going to the head, mixing in some body shots. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. We need to get a takedown now. Some fighters don't check a lot of leg kicks. That one was checked. Nice knees to the body. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one up? All right, he engages in oh, a single collar tie. He takes down and scrambles to his feet. Nicely done. Pretty good job staying patient as he lands the counter strike there. Strong work by Lee. There to block the shot. Nice instincts. Right there, his opponent's wobble champ. He's hurt bad. This dude needs to grab. He needs to wrestle. He has to do something. He cannot take another shot like that. All right, we'll see how he chooses to defend here. Oh. Round two winding down. All right, let's take a look back at some of the replays from that last round. Unbelievable to see these high-level competitors get in each other's face, tuck their chin, bite down on the mouth guard, and just let it all hang out over the course of five minutes. All right, here we go with our next round. His opponent is going to need some Motrin later tonight. How about all those strikes to the head he absorbed in the previous round? He is not moving his head. He's trying to walk forward. He's a pressure fighter, sure, but he's trying to walk forward with no head movement, and he is paying the price for it by like getting hit over and over in the face. DC didn't take him long to find his range here tonight, huh? His timing is on point. Stuffs the takedown there. How good is his takedown defense? Good punch, Lance. Ooh, head kick lands. He's hurt. So he's really starting to put together some significant body shots here. These are going to take their soul as this fight goes on. Left hand punch to the clinch. All right, some really grueling work here in the clinch. Both fighters really struggling to gain a dominant position. That happens whenever you understand the position. Both know exactly what they need to do. And when both fighters are trying to do the same thing, it's very, very difficult to get the desired result. What a tricky head kick. Great punch. Oh, collar tie. Oh, really using his reach advantage there as he lands the punch, DC. Rips the body there for good measure. Oh, a little single collar tie there. Oh, now he's got the tie plum, Daniel. If you're on the other side, what are you trying to do to get out of this potentially dangerous position? You got to start digging your shoulder to a side and then trying to shove an underhook. You cannot bend down to try to get out of Muay Thai clinch. Oh, man, this guy kicks like a mule. So hard. He kicks so hard every time you can see him drive his shin into his opponent. And they separate. Well, he's really starting to land a high number of strikes here in the second round. No denying that he has taken the message from his corner and picked up the pace here in round two. I mean, he's cutting down the size with these beautiful leg kicks. Straight punch lands. Single collar tie now. 
Well, lands a good series of kicks there, DC. It really didn't take him long to get a good beat on his opponent. He figured the timing, and now he's been driving kick after kick into his opponent. Lands with the kick there, no pad on that foot. No shit guard, he's taking all of that kick every time he throws it. Takedown defense holds up. Nice punch lands over the top. Look at how he turns his hip into that leg kick. Oh, tagged him with that right hand. What a strike that was. What a strike that he is landing over and over again. His opponent will need to make some adjustments. Two rounds in the books. Let's get you some of the action from that previous round, DC. And those are some serious leg kicks, man. He gets the leg to the target so quickly. He gets his foot off the ground so quickly that you don't even recognize that it's coming. And that's really confusing his opponent. All right, DC, buckle up. Here we go with our Ready next fight. round. High Ready. number of kicks landed in the previous round, and he'll look to keep it going. He'll look to keep winning the fight with his kick. He's throwing high kicks, leg kick, body kick. He's even throwing a couple spin kicks in there. This guy is so educated with this. Well, most fighters can't keep up this type of aggression and pace, but you don't have to worry about this guy. He hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down tonight. Nice punch lands. He's throwing every part of himself into these big leg kicks. And both guys really throwing with authority. Man, is he timing his shots well here tonight, DC. It's hard to recall him being this accurate in the past. I mean, he is so sharp. And not only is he accurate, he's also keeping very busy. Oh, beautiful jab there. It's one thing to have length. Of course, it's another to use it effectively. Beautiful job with that jab. Whiffs on the straight right hand. Look at the whip action that comes from him throwing that kick. All right, he closes the distance, gets the single collar tie. His opponent got him in the clinch. He needs to break away and get back to his range because he's taking punch after punch from his clinch position. And a nice job at least staying upright on that. Huge block there. Real sneaky head kick gets in there. Got the single collar tie. Game of inches right there, boy. Wow. It was a good night if that landed. Beautiful kick. Oh, good kicks. You got to check these low leg kicks. Duffs the takedown, no problem. Sound defensively blocks the shot. Oh, he's really starting to apply pressure on his opponent here. Different approach here in the last couple rounds, and it's the exact sense of urgency that you want to see from a fighter take the judges out of it. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. All right, so a high amplitude double leg takedown there. Now we'll see what he can do with it to try to advance position on the ground. You knew that he was going to attack the double because he's such an explosive guy. He got it on the hip, finished the shot very quickly. Fantastic job. Beautiful head kick. Oh, nice. Nice. Man, he's just got a great feel for the striking realm early in this one. The timing is on point. He's doing a great job of mixing everything up. That's three rounds in the can. We're headed to the championship rounds. All right, now we take a look back at some of the highlights. He has had his kicking game going early and often tonight. I mean, on point, right? He knew that this was going to be a way for him to take control of this fight. He's used those kicks to really put him out ahead. And I'm not sure if his opponent has the ability to adjust and stop him from landing these over and over. All right, we'll see how it goes here in this next round. A high number of kicks landed there in the previous round, and at some point, these are going to really start to take effect. They do start to take an effect whenever you're taking kick after kick after kick. And watching him fight with that knowledge and that patience shows his fight IQ. Now 
we stop the Muay Thai Club. Big and kick. Well, just as he did in the previous round, he continues to connect on a high volume of strikes. And a good sign, too, doesn't seem to be slowing down whatsoever. Single collar tie now. And that he comes knee. through with a big knee. That knee hurt him. Oh, big left hook there. All right, he'll engage in a single collar tie. Well, we talked about that reach advantage as you see him land the straight punch there. Great job using his length in that situation. Stuff to take down, no problem. Good series of strikes by him there. Great job of mixing it up, staying active, keeping busy, doing great work. There. Man! And there comes the separation now. Can't take many of those, but check. Oh, he's feeling it now. Nice combination there by Lee. Big leg kick land. Look at how he drives his knee right into his opponent's midsection. Look at him drive his shin into his opponent's body with that body. Hard shots landing on both sides here. Powerful leg kick lands. Nice punch there. Circling to his right. Beautiful body kick. Nice knee to the body there by Lee. Oh, look at that jab, snapped his head back. His jab gets to the target so fast, always with his hand right back to his face. Really timing his shots nicely, good tempo, very accurate, finding the range with relative ease. Yeah, he's doing a great job of really overwhelming his opponent with activity. Able to check the high kick. Oh, beautiful jab there by Lee. Well, looks as though his leg is hurt here. You can even see him limping a little bit. And they separate. Tried with the uppercut there. Whoa! Whoa! Oh, he postured up there, gained some valuable separation. And now, the ground and pound starts. Lee's attempting to pass here, but he's denied How by the defense. those five minutes? Right, so there's the end of the round, and the tide has officially turned a huge head strike to stun his opponent. We'll see which corner can adjust here moving forward. I mean, they've got to be celebrating. They've got to be happy. Everything's working. But the other side has to be concerned. They have to figure something out, make some sort of adjustment to try to change the tide of this fight. All right, next round is now underway. Hopefully the action continues at a high level. Pretty good first five minutes. Pretty good first five minutes. Both of them can really pick it up. Let's see who decides they're going to lead the dance as we go forward. Oh, nice job there to land the knee strike to the body. Again, making great use of his length in this matchup. He has a commitment to kick it tonight, and it shows. Well, he has certainly found the range and staying pretty busy here on the feet. He's being busy, but it's also the timing and the accuracy that's allowing him to land so many attacks. Beautiful leg kick thrown. All right, he engages in a single collar tie. Now the uppercuts are coming. He better start moving. He cannot stand here and eat these uppercuts. Oh, connects with the one-two. Stuffs that takedown attempt without issue. Right hand punch in the clinch. Jockey in for position here on the clinch. Both fighters try to get a more done. You don't really stand after you take a head kick like this. That is such toughness to even be on his feet right now. Just over three minutes now to go in the fight. Come on, push it. Punch over the top. Visibly limping here. So there's that takedown defense on full display yet again. It's held up for him. He does a fantastic job of squaring up his hips, getting his legs back, and understanding not to allow his opponent to get going on his takedown finish. It's 
in there deep. There you go. He gets it done by submission tonight, champ. He does a great job of staying patient. He doesn't rush or panic. You are never safe when you're fighting this guy. You're in a lot of trouble. You're in a lot of trouble the entire time when you're this good in the submission. So there he is, your winner by submission. That could hold up as one of the better subs of the year. Near perfect execution tonight. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Gaines called a stop to this contest at two minutes, 54 seconds of round number five. Declaring the winner by submission due to a guillotine jump, Bruce the Dragon! All right, so there he is, all smiles, and rightfully so, after he gets the job done by submission tonight. You told me off the air before the fight that he was going to submit him, and that's exactly what happened, man. I mean, you know this guy has such a great submission game that you cannot lay in his guard, and his opponent is known to lay in the guard. He made him pay for it tonight and got the submission victory.